Natural gas wells have become a pretty common sight around here, yet still they can be the source of sometimes heated debates. Kim Gable is live to tell us how the mayor of Plum Borough is trying to stop one plan from moving forward. Kim. Yes, Susan, this was actually the last council meeting for Mayor Rich Rivnack, who encouraged folks to show up here tonight at the council meeting to oppose that fracking in residential neighborhoods. Still, however, two ordinances associated with that plan did move forward tonight. They passed six to one, and residents on both sides very passionate about this. Residents know drilling in Plum Borough is inevitable, that the municipality ultimately has no power to stop it. But they want council to take a serious look at where this high pressure drilling will take place. If you guys are going to allow this, like, I think you need to make sure that the wells are near the, near the house of the people that are the ones that are wanting yeah. this on their property, not the people that don't want it on their property. You can rest assured that our planning department, our zoning, our zoning department, our staff, our borough manager, and everybody has us compliant with everything the EPA is, is required. Mr. Dart? Yes. Mr. Vento? Never. Council voted six to one to approve two ordinances that will get the process rolling for the firm Huntley and Huntley in rural residential areas. Several property owners wearing blue shirts in support of drilling believe there's no definitive proof that any harm will come from the plan. Just telling us here and doing nothing. Show us. I've been saying that. Show me. I don't want to lose the property value either, but they don't have nothing. I support the drilling of the gas well. By the way, um, 20 years ago when our wells were drilled, shallow wells at that point, um, they were fracked. We're still alive. This was the last council meeting for Plum's outgoing mayor, who is among the opposition here, as his council member Dave Vento. I don't get it. I don't see why. Oh, I do get it. It's all about money. And I think it's a terrible thing when a little bit of money can change the complete makeup of our community. And earlier before this meeting tonight, the mayor actually recorded a message that was broadcast to hundreds of residents in Plum, urging them to speak out. Also, the organization Food and Water Watch has been working with community leaders here on that opposition. Still, however, as you heard, that vote passed six to one. We're live tonight in Plum Borough. Kim Gable, KDKA TV News.